Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a review and a wear test of the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. Now this review has been requested by Ruchi Singh. So this is for you as well as I have heard like raving reviews about this specific foundation. So we are going to see how this performs on my oily, greasy skin. So if you have not already, then do not forget to click on the subscribe button as well as the notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I do upload. And now let's jump right into the video. So the shade that I picked up for myself is number 12 Classic Tan and I will put on the description box below as to the other brands, what shade I am in their foundation. But I really hope this does match because it does seem to look a little bit lighter, especially because of the frosted glass and it comes in a nice dropper which you would have seen a bajillion times and the formula seems to be pretty liquidy as well now it says that with a few drops or total control drop foundation delivers sheer to full coverage with a velvety matte finish simply adjust the number of drops you use until the desired level of coverage is achieved more drops equal more coverage and at the back as well, it is mentioned that if you go for more than two and above drop of foundation, it is light. Three and above is medium and four and above is full coverage. So they do offer 21 shades and they're priced at 1,250 Indian rupees for 13 ml of product. Wherein in United States, they do offer like about 30 different shades and they're priced at $14, which is give or take 971 Indian rupees. So 300 rupees difference with 21 shades, that is a pretty good deal. And also these are cruelty free as well. So now let's finally move to the application of the products. All right, so I have super zoomed you guys in and my skin is super duper oily, greasy, as well as there's a lot of blemishes and a lot of spots and redness. There's some hyperpigmentation, there's bumps, there's pits and pores name it my skin is problematic so let's quickly go over with the application this side i'm going to use a beauty blender and this side is going to be a brush so i'm going to quickly shaky shaky the product as it says okay this has given extreme light coverage it's so sheer So one side of my face is done using the beauty blender. Now apart from the shade not matching me because I think I should have gone for one shade darker. But then apart from that my pores are filled in. My skin looks velvety mad. There's no shine and it doesn't seem heavy at all because you saw the number of drops I used. So there are instructions about four drops that doesn't work because I don't think even four drops is enough for my one cheek. So yeah, you will have to use a lot more, but apart from that, the finish is beautiful. Now let's finish the other side as well. Too fucking light for me. So apart from the fact that this foundation does not match my skin tone at all, I should have gone for one shade darker. But then this foundation has given such a beautiful, beautiful velvety matte finish. And also the brush side has given much more coverage than the sponge because I think the sponge was absorbing the product but the blemishes are beautifully covered and it feels so light and not that tacky or heavy or anything. So for the amount of product I had used, it seems really, really light and it has given a lovely finish as well. So I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and be right back. 
all right so the rest of the makeup is on i will put on the description box below all the products that i had used and uh, i don't think i mentioned this before but i did not use any primer there's not going to be any highlight and nor is there going to be any setting spray so we are just going to see how this foundation sits on my skin throughout the day and the time right now is about 11 22 let's say uh, 11 30. hello hi and it has been about four hours the time right now is about 3 41 pm and this is how the foundation is looking so far so as you guys can see it looks like a nice healthy shine not the greasy oily kind of a shine but then what i'm worried about is in the eight hours mark i think it may become greasy but let's see for that uh, but then so far it does look good like far away it still looks flawless and nice but then up close I can see my pores and uh, also wait let me super zoom you guys in okay so as you guys can see my skin is looking pretty shiny but not in a bad way it looks it still looks like a healthy shine uh, but you can see that I don't know if it's capturing on the camera but I can see on the mirror uh, the few spots like where the uh, pores are I can see those that has been emphasized and even some of the texture looks a little bit emphasized and around the nose it's pretty shiny overall but then at the sides it looks like it's in the process of being separated so yeah this is how the nose area is like but apart from that the forehead is just shiny there's nothing new and it is pretty annoying the fact that my baby hair is getting stuck on my oily forehead that is so not fun so yeah this is how the foundation is looking in four hours so i'm not going to do any touch up or any blotting sheet or anything of that sort because i am going to keep it for another four more hours which will be the last and final check-in and i will see you guys then and i am back and my skin is not feeling that great because it has become a greasy oily mess and from my earlier check-in which was the first check-in at four hours mark at around four and a half hours or five hours is when my face started getting more and more heavier and more and more oily and greasier and like i mentioned before it did emphasize my pores it just kind of did that a lot again so do not mind my tired looking face let me quickly zoom you guys in and show you how my skin is looking like trust me when i'm looking at myself in person it's like bad <laughs> because it has i don't know separated at the sides of my nose i don't know if you guys can see that a bit but it does seem to have separated like the oil and the foundation and at this point all my bumps pores and everything all the texture seems to have been emphasized and the pores especially they do look pretty hardcore so yeah and also when i touch my skin i feel like the foundation has come off like for example like my pinky finger is pretty much clean so if i do this there is quite a bit of foundation and the oil mixed together and it has come off so i am going to blot my skin and see if this is kind of saveable or not
all right so i have blotted and it is looking much much more better and these are the two full sheets of blotting paper which i had to use i am so sorry i forgot to show you guys the time it is around 8 11 pm so now for my final thoughts now if you have a dry skin or a normal skin or if you live in a colder region this foundation is a blessing for you because it will give you that beautiful velvety matte finish and it will sit on your skin completely flawlessly completely flawlessly no completely no just flawlessly okay so just flawlessly <laughs> <laughs> and also if you have like combination skin you can still make this work by using like an amazing primer and a setting spray and touching up every three hours or so but then if you have oily skin or an extremely oily skin like me then personally for me i would say a no but again you can make this work but i feel there are other foundations which are better because this is 1250 rupees for like 13 ml of product which is pretty less because other brands they do offer like a standard of like 30 ml so when you see that i would rather prefer other foundations which have worked for oily skin so overall this foundation is not that great or it's not that bad but just that personally for me it's a no-no so these were my thoughts and this wraps up today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever i do upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i'll try my best to do that for you as well as follow me on my socials which is it's nishanayar on instagram and it's nishanayar on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye